everyone, it's Shirley and welcome back to my channel. I know it's already been six months into the new year, but it's never too late for Glow Up. So I wanted to share some products I've been testing out from Maycoop. I have tried their raw sauce before, totally loved it. I really love that they're on the more affordable side for creating skincare. They create clean products that are vegan. This is the Raw Activator Antioxidant Serum. It quickly absorbs into your skin and is great at replenishing the moisture in your skin. I felt that it made my skin look more plump and less dull. Here we have the Raw Sauce, which is their best seller. It is rich in antioxidants and helps with wrinkles for healthier skin. This was made to be suitable for all skin types. My skin loves this stuff. This is great before like a gua sha or massage session. My face is prone to getting bloated, so I'm all for anything that promotes circulation or lymphatic drainage. If you'd like to try makeup for yourself, you can use my code SHIRLESK for 30% off your purchase. Highly recommend you go try them out and let me know what you think. So I got a new matcha whisk since my old one was getting worn out. Look at this. Honestly did not take the best care of it. This time I also got a stand for it so it'll help keep the shape of the bristles. I got this one from Amazon. I'll link it down below. So this one comes with a whisk stand. Wow, that's bigger than I thought. So here's the whisk. It's a lot bigger than my old one. These bristles feel a lot softer the whisk around the stand and it'll hold its shape. It sucks though, like if I get one that's this small, I won't be able to fit in there. It also comes with a spatula to scoop the matcha. This is what you use like when you're sifting the powder to break all the clumps so you get a really fine powder. This matcha bowl wasn't the best, but now that I have a bigger whisk, it's not really gonna fit in here. So it's time to look for a new matcha bowl. tofu, cauliflower, and rice. And of course I have the matcha latte. I don't usually have oat milk on hand. I usually have like normal dairy milk. But once we ran out, I went out and got oat milk and it makes such a difference in like taste. I really like like the consistency of the broth. It reminds me of like when you make oatmeal and the milk at the end. I really love that. My room is a mess. Just like my state of mind, I myself embarrassed of being a messy person, especially when I'm vlogging. I'm really embarrassed to show you all how messy my room is. So I try to vlog in more of like the cleaner places in my room or like not vlog in my room, but it's just a part of my reality and I can fix it, clean up after myself. So I just have a bunch of clothes, all this chair, a bunch of laundry. I have like stuff I need to return, gifts I still need to wrap. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. to wake up at 4 a.m. every single day. I didn't wake up exactly 4 a.m. today. It's currently 5 a.m. and I feel like death. I know it's only the first day, but it feels like I should be asleep. Kind of feels like I'm staying up like all night or anything. I know my body's still getting used to it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna brew some coffee and pack my lunch. One of my 2023 resolutions is to take it slow, have a consistent morning routine because I really value like time to myself especially in the mornings to just wind down before getting the day started. Usually my mornings are very hectic. I'm like in a rush just to get out the door. Barely have time to like eat. 
sleep or drink water and that's just not a good way to start the day so I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule so that I can have more time in the morning good morning everyone so it's time for coffee I actually brewed extra coffee yesterday just to save some time I was using this bowl and I got it on yes style because it was cute and I thought it would be great for matcha but actually like these ridges make it really hard to whisk so I'm just gonna use this bowl that we have lying around but I did commission a lilac matcha bowl from a ceramics artist so I'm really excited you want to keep whisking until you get the froth on the surface no clumps. Yeah, this is not a tutorial. I do want to do like a more formal video of like my matcha and coffee routines, but, but it's still a work in progress. skincare products from yes style lately i've been getting like dry patches on my skin so it's been nice to just throw it on and have like instant hydration this is the kahi wrinkle bounce multi-bomb i have used this before and it's gotten popular on tiktok i really like this around dry areas of my skin i like applying this on any creases or fine lines so my lips are usually chapped most of the time any balm or like lip mask is crucial this is a pore tightening clay mask i just like to use this like maybe once a week every two weeks just for like a really deep clean and i also really like how like cooling and refreshing it feels on the skin i felt that this clay mask was a little bit drying after i rinsed it off also, it does not wash off that easily. You really have to like put in work and use your fingers to kind of break it apart. So that's just something I noticed. trying the Vita C dark spot serum mask I believe this is to like brighten your skin and get rid of any blemishes or dark spots I haven't used this mask consistently enough to say it gets rid of dark spots but it does make my skin feel very hydrated and plump so that was just the start of my 2023 glow up let me know what your resolutions are what are you trying to work towards I will see you all in the next video thanks for watching